Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Bhagyashree. Hope you all are doing very well. So firstly, I would love to thank each one of my subscriber who are supporting me in this journey. Do help me reach that 1k count soon. So let's start with today's recipe. What do you all think? Can cakes be healthy too? Today's recipe is all about how to make a healthier version of cake. So in today's video, we'll see how to make a healthy banana cake. Let's get started. Firstly, we would need four bananas for this. You can use either ripe or overripe bananas. Cut them into small pieces and using a fork, you can either mash them or I would recommend to use a blender instead. We need a smooth paste of the bananas. Make sure the paste is smooth and let me take a bowl and add this. Now let's add half cup of sugar. If you want, uh, you can add more sugar but bananas are already sweet so I have added just half cup. We need one third cup of oil. Make sure you take the non-flavored oil which doesn't have strong smell and taste to it. Just whisk it properly. Meanwhile, I'm preheating my OTG like with the function with both the rods on and uh, at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Yeah, we can see like uh, our sugar and oil are completely dissolved. We need this consistency. Let's see if the dry ingredients. I am taking 1 cup plus half cup of wheat flour here. You can take maida also but we want to make this a healthier version. And uh, I am taking baking powder 1 teaspoon, baking soda half teaspoon and a pinch of salt. Just sieve all the ingredients. You can use whisk to mix this but do not over mix this. We have to use whisk only till all the lumps are gone. Then we need to switch it to a spatula and mix it using cut and fold method. Because we have used wheat flour here, consistency can be thick so we can adjust it using milk and water. So as per the consistency, you can add water and milk and mix it again using cut and fold method for just 2 to 3 times. So this is done now. At this point, we'll add all the dry fruits you can add of your choice. Here I'm adding walnuts, pista and uh, raisins. I've chopped them into smaller pieces. And again, we just need to mix till these dry fruits are uh, mixed. These add a good crunch to our cake and they are healthy too. This mix is ready. We can now shift it into a loaf pan actually this is bread loaf pan so i'm greasing it with oil and uh, adding parchment paper to it i have shifted the batter and just leveling it up and i'm topping it with remaining dry fruits so yeah this is ready to be baked now We need to bake it for uh, around 40 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. So after 40 minutes, I have taken it out and our toothpick is coming out clean. So our cake is properly baked. I'll now cover it with a cloth and let it cool completely. It has cooled down completely now and uh, we can just demold it and slice it into pieces. Do you guys remember in our school days we used to have these sort of fruit cakes from the shop. It just reminds me of that. You can also add cherries or tutti frutti in the mixture as well. So I'm just slicing them down. For this you can use bread slicer. So this will serve around like 4 people and um, you can see like it's spongy and moist from inside and it's like covered with dry fruits. It tastes amazing. You can give it a try. So guys, hope you all liked my recipe and um, it's more of protein rich, less sugar, healthy way of having your evening snacks. You can serve it with a tea. Do give it a try. Thanks for watching.